Corner coming in. Sack. Serious swing on it. 80s there. Puts it across. Oh, go on. Oh, Mish. Oh, Camilo even on the left foot. Nice for Mish. Jermaine, good first touch. Can he cross? He does. He goes low. Sack gets it left We've foot. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United League game. Today we play Concord Rangers at home. We've played them twice this season already. Once away in the league, once in the cup. Two wins out of two so far. Hopefully we can make it three. Concord have already been relegated from this division this season. So it's actually back-to-back -back relegations for them, sadly. They were in the National League South last year. They're going to be in the Ishmael North, I imagine, uh, next season. So not a great time for them. It's going to make this game very interesting. We've obviously got a cup final in just a few days' time. I can tell you now the team has been changed up quite dramatically with those thoughts in mind. The big news today is Farai Singano, club legend, is captain today. He starts the game. First time this season he gets a start. First time actually in quite a few years, I think, he gets a start. Obviously came back from that ACL. He's now played for us in every step. Step six, step five, step four, step three. We love him. The reason he's the captain today and the reason he's uh, starting is it, it could well be his last game for the club. Um, he's going to be moving on at the end of the season. He, he's got a really successful modelling career right now. Fair play to him. Lots of opportunities making it a little bit harder for him to commit to regular semi-pro football. So um, I'm never going to say it's the end of the road. People like Farai, you always want to have a chance of bringing them back. But he is going to be doing some other things next season. So we thank him for everything. I hope he has a game today that categorises the sort of performances he's put in for us over the years, which have been exemplary. He's one of my favourites. Who knows? Future Hall of Famer, maybe. We are going to be inducting a new player into the Hall of Fame this year in the awards. It won't be Farai this year. It's a little bit too soon for him, but we will probably nominate him at a later date. There are three players, though, getting nominated, and you guys are going to decide who gets it, along with the select committee at the club who vote. And the three people nominated, I can reveal, are Rich Beck, Ross Gleed, and Jack Harrison. Three big names in the history of the club. Two of them originals. Rich Beck was an original penalty taker, all those good things. The man mountain, he came through that. He then played and coached us in our first league win winning season in non-league. Uh, Jack Harrison, of course, did the same and then captained us to that first win in step six. Probably would have played a lot more if he hadn't done his ACL as well. Scored some big goals for the club as well, of course. And of course, Ross Gleed, over 100 games for the club. Multiple promotions. Didn't play chapter one, but was a big name in chapter two. If you click the link in the description, it'll take you to somewhere where you can vote. And uh, take it seriously, guys, because being a Hall of Famer is a big achievement in this club. And we do look, like to look after our Hall of Fame uh, inductees. So you can help decide who gets the next one. Right, it's a lot of talking from me. Should we find out who is in the starting lineup for Hashtag versus Concord? Let's do it. In goal and a debut is Archie Cunningham. He's been in and around the squad all season, played for the reserves, been on the bench. He starts today, obviously with the cup final in mind, you're going to see quite a lot of people being rested. But what an opportunity it is for this young goalkeeper. In defence, Jermaine Anderson is in at right back. He's cup tied for Wednesday's match, so makes perfect sense to use him today. Nathan Smith has just won March's Player of the Month. Second time this season he's won that. He starts at left back. Fry Singano, as mentioned, is in at centre back and captain the side. He partners Greg Halford in defence. In midfield, we have Sam Cornish, fresh off a man of the match performance last time out. He's joined by a PK Humble in the middle with Camilo Restrepo just ahead of them. And out wide, we have Sak Hassan, Misha Jamaili, and up front, Alex Tenyola. On the bench, Harry Hasem. Ellis Devereaux, could we see uh, a little bit of a cameo from him today maybe? Pedro Carvalho, Ryan Sammons and Luke May Parrott. Really interesting game today, lots of different players playing so I'm excited to see how they get on. Up the tags. Seen the side, a um, couple of things before we talk about the game address, we've got a, we've got a first and a, and, a, and a potential last. So obviously Archie, bringing Archie in today, he's done fantastic in the reserves, he's gone out and had a, had a, had a loan and done brilliant out there and he deserves his chance and that's why he's getting his chance today. But I do expect the senior players out there to make, obviously help him in terms of decision making. And then Farai, um, having to move on soon um, because of work commits, commitments, etc. cetera. Um, been an unbelievable servant for this football club. Um, only a Really bad injury at a really bad time, i.e. COVID, where you couldn't get the treatment um, to come back from, I think has denied you from being well clear as the, the, the player to have the, the, the most appearances of this football club. 
in, in its time. Was here the first day that we stepped into the non-league pyramid. He's still with us today, and I think that's testament to you as a person, as a character, and obviously as a footballer. And today you're going to be leading us out as the captain. Um, it looks like it's going to be our, your, your last, potentially last home game for us at least. Um, and I uh, just before we go, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for this club. You've been an absolute superstar for us. Uh, now, them, um, they're going to come to us with a little bit of freedom. They, their fate, fate was sealed um, in midweek in terms of they've been relegated. You can almost see the reliefs the relief in their faces that it's like the inevitable has now happened and they're gonna, that brings about a reaction. You often see with relegated sides, all of a sudden they play with a freedom and a, a lack of you know, pressure, if you like, that makes them very dangerous to play against. But we've been good of late and I want that momentum to continue. Yeah, Joe? Let's get going, come on. In Concord are gonna get us underway here. They're in the all gray strip. Hashtag, of course, the home team in the yellow and blue. Bit of a different lineup today, but hopefully the same sort of result as we've been having recently. And another win for the Tags. Billy Knott, the experienced pro on the ball, captain for Concord today, looks for the quick one too. It's going to be with uh, Jacob Bland here. Will Dupre, ex hashtag player, of course. Farai doing what Farai does, strong as an ox. And PK gets it to Camilla. Can we get up the pitch now? Will Dupre will know our players well, of course. He knows. You know, what maybe to show what way to show players and things like that in the middle of the park, but it's gonna have a tough game today against our midfield. Sakasan. Left foot across into the keeper's hands. Tell you what though, that chance all stemmed from Farais and Garno winning the ball back. Yeah, Mish, I'm sure will be looking to cement a starting spot for the week the uh, midweek cup final. Oh my word. Oh big mistake. AT's got to score. AT's got to score. He still might. Oh, it's a gift. Yeah, that really is a gift. And AT will be absolutely fuming he's missed that one. He's got to pick himself up because it's a golden edge chance. It really is. I didn't even see how that came about. Did the keeper kick it to him? Was it so, defender? No, the defender's completely missed kicked that one. Right, right, right. Straight to him. What defender was it? Uh, the left centre half. The was it Jamal six. Allen? Number six, yeah. yeah. Corner coming in. Sack. Serious swing on it. AT's there. Puts it across. Looking for a, what would have been a lovely assist from AT there. Definitely not trying to shoot with that. Didn't need to be so big, did it? Didn't need to be so big. Big switch. Has that stayed on? Yes, it has. Just about, yeah. Alan. Go on, AT. Better. Yes, PK, let's go. Go, just go, PK. This is one of your moments. They're opening up for you here. Oh, go on. Oh, Mish. Oh, Camilo even on the left foot. Off oh, the post and in on the weak foot. Camilo Restrepo, we do not mind that at all. Oi, what a finish, by the way. Weak foot as well, right into the corner, off of the post. But PK, it started from him really, driving through, as PK does so well often. And uh, gets a little bit fortunate, but it's Camilo who's there and alive to the loose ball and finishes absolutely brilliantly for a 1-0 hashtag. Yeah, he's been in the goals recently, Camillo, hasn't he? And he might be staking a place for a starting spot in the cup final on Wednesday with that. I'm glad that PK sort of got the memo to just run at that space in the midfield because he doesn't do it as much at this level as he did probably last year. But when it's open for him, he's got to take the opportunity and things happen. And we saw that. Camillo, really good finish on the left peg. So lovely. One of the attacks. It's been coming. I mean, that was ugly. Dupre. Goes back to Allen. Deals with it well. Do you reckon it's Rasok or Rasoke or Rusuk or not sure, but that's a good pass either way. Whatever his name is. Number three. Over to the wide area here with Halsey. Puts it in. Greg cuts it out, but it's still alive. Archie gets a little touch to it. So does Farai. Still in the box here for X hashtag player. But Dupre's shot is closed down well by Jermaine. Yeah, he's done really well there, Jermaine. Good from Archie as well to come out and punch. He's not the tallest of goalkeepers, but dealt with that one well. Go on, Camillo. Oh, let him play, let him play. Farai comes and wins his header. Misha clears. Little push on PK in the back there, maybe. Farai gets up again. Well, he's a little bit clumsy, the big lad. He's a bit sort of everywhere of his body, isn't he? Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Very good assessment on uh, his ability so far. Obviously, Concord losing. You'd think that maybe they might apply some press. There we go. Oh, oh. Sachs touched it, but they're back on the ball. 
It's not over though. This will do, we'll count this. Oh, <laughs> really counting it. Faz. Jermaine into sack in the middle. In a dangerous area. Can he go all the way through? That's oh, about that naughty clumsy. tackle as well, that one. And if that was in the championship, it would be a pen. <laughs> it's League One, wasn't it, I think? Is it League One, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Who's taking this then? Is it Sack or is it Misha? Sack hits it. Off target. I think when they set up, they must have seen a bit more of a gap that we did than what we can, sorry, from here. I knew he was going to go that side. I was going to say, I bet he's going to try and come over the wall. It looked like there was enough for him to just go far post, didn't it? Like beating for pace. Good flick from Aguiman. Not able to be dealt with by Polybank. AT gets a nice touch. Mish on the left foot. Can he shoot? Oh, he's unselfish, but Sack did look offside to me. I like the idea from Mish. Mish! Show away! Come on! Back yourself! Sack gets there. PK will recapture it. Halford to Cornish. To Sack. Nice. Well, he's gone direct to Mish. Now he can shoot. Oh, that's not his usual standard, to be fair, but definitely worth a hit. Yeah, just slipped at the vital moment, didn't he? I mean, we've seen him put harder chances away all season. Camillo. Oh, heavy touch. Gets us. Oh, and that's not his first one, is it? It's a booking. Did it he do the booking. free kick a minute yeah, ago in the Alan, box? Yeah. yeah. He, he looks to be, because I think he's the lad that gave the ball away for the chance. He well. is, yeah. He's the weak link, isn't he? Expose, attack, exploit. <laughs> <laughs> you do wonder, in games like this, how many of these boys are going to be of Concord next season? Oh, AT. Can he get the other side of the number five here? He's still got it. It's just too wide for a shot. Good little battle there with Joe Burton. Saka San on the ball. Can he cross in? Mish is in there. Looks for him. Keeper does well. Well, playoff throws looks complete in the north, doesn't it? It might change positions. I but wonder who's going to win it. Lowest stuff's still got to play Bowers. Yeah, that could change. But that's in terms huge. of, I don't think any of the people that aren't in the top five are going to get in there. Uh, yeah, I looked at it. No, that's done. That's done. Yeah. 36 games as well, isn't it, this yeah, year? Yeah, exactly. So. Nice for Mish. Jermaine, good first touch. Can he cross? He does. He goes low. Sack gets it. Left foot. Touch. That was a touch on that. I think it was off target, but we'll take the corner. Yeah, what a beautiful move. Lovely flick from Misha. Jermaine does really well to get across the defender. Puts a decent ball in and it falls to Sack on the swivel. I think it's just going wide, but Crampton, not sure. Gets a touch and it goes just out for a corner ball. Can't ask more of the young keeper there, really, just to have his goal covered, which he definitely did. But good football. Really nice. Misha, Jermaine and Sack linking up. Here's the corner from Sack. Oh, Faz so close to a fairy tale goal there. Would have been lovely. That's the half-time whistle. Not a super eventful half. Definitely a dominant one for the tags. Hopefully more goals to come in the second half. Um, we're going to change. We're going to change shape. Okay. We're going to go to uh, a three-five-two. Don't give them. Don't give them. If we get another goal, we'll take it away from them. There, are, there is opportunity to go and run and press and make, and make mistakes. My big disappointment is that when we've had, apart from a couple of corners, is that we've not put the ball into the box to test the goalkeeper. And I just think, play, play, play their weaknesses as much as... Uh, at time. It's not just about our strengths, it's playing the opposition's weaknesses. Yeah? Don't, we haven't got to be over clever with it. <laughs> opportunity arises, take it. And we're underway for the second half and there has been a change and it is a big one. The gaffer's son, Ellis, is on. Uh, he's come on for Sam Cornish, who's got a bit of a dead leg. Bit of a mix-up. I think Mish will drop into the midfield. And uh, yeah, Ellis is up there with the attacking players and he's going to get the most minutes he's had for the tags here. All being well, 45 minutes. See what he can do. But Ellis is definitely inside of AT at the moment. Yeah, they're, so they're definitely up top. And AT's not going to be right wing. Surely not. Surely not. Is he? I don't Mate, know. This looks like lost. he is. This looks like he is right yeah. now. Looks for the big ball in here to Ellis. Takes a touch. Oh, it would have been a beautiful moment. And the first touch, by the way, was amazing. But fair play to the defender there for the tackle. Yeah, first touch there was absolutely exemplary. I'm not surprised. I've seen it all season in the reserves. What a player he's becoming. Took it really well and I have to say, a fantastic challenge to present. Probably would have been a certain goal. Was it Joe Burton that did that number five? Yeah, really, yeah. really nice. Oh, that's a good challenge. PK, well done! Reserve's not got a game. 
playing Monday. Okay. He's not been playing for us recently, though. I think he's else. I thought, but Bill might be busy, though. Oh, no. Good for Menis. Gets the ball to AT, who finds Mish. Mish finds Sack. Nathan Smith is busting a gut on the overlap here. Sack finds him. Nathan. Oh, is it a shot? Was it a shot in the end? I don't think it was. Shot across. It's not gone far away from going into the back of the net there, Nathan. I think them up it, there, yeah, almost I, scoring. I think it was a cross that went a bit skew if and almost worked out, personally. But I don't know if Sack maybe could have helped him out a little bit on that pass there. He put it quite a lot in front of him, didn't he? Good, Mish. Come on, let's get a touch on that. Got AT with him. Finds him. Sack. Lovely pass out to Mish. Got space here. Takes a touch. Looks for the cross. It's beyond Ellis. Oh, and it's taken away from PK. Still alive, though. For AT. Ellis. Oh, my God. He's, he's been in and amongst it. I thought he'd done it. I'll tell you what, that move was absolutely beautiful as well. And it all started from Ellis there. Nathan taking a, a, a risky route here, but it's working out for him. Go on, Nathan. Oh. Energy. <laughs> more passion, more energy. More footwork. Someone put the speaker on. Yes, Nathan. AT. What a tackle that is. He finds Sack. Me, it's Ellis in the box. Does he shoot? Does he pass? He goes across. Oh, Offside. you're kidding me. He's picked out a player, by the way. I didn't think he was off. Unlucky, well done. So get in. Well, it's not the way we'd have liked to have seen him go off. We didn't think he was going to play 90 today because uh, he hasn't played 90 in a long time. But we give him a big round of applause. Sir Farai Singano of Hashtag. What a man. What a servant to the club. Would almost certainly have our record appearances if he hadn't had a really significant ACL injury and COVID in the middle of it as well, which obviously killed a few seasons. But few people have contributed to hashtag what this man has. You know, he's been with us every single step of non-league. He's the only player that can say that. And uh, he will always be a fan favourite, big favourite of mine. And uh, who knows what the future holds, but whatever happens, he is a hashtag legend. For us in Ghana, everybody. Give your love to him in the comments below. Well done. Yes, 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 yes. What happens apparently is it hammy? Hammy? No, it just cramps. No, oh, is it cramps? What, what tends to happen is the weight of the armband pulls on your hamstring. <laughs> Big kick from Cunningham. Go on, Ellis. Good jump, you. Sack over the top for AT. What a goal this will be. Hit it. There's a strike. You know what? I think the challenge from Halsey, even though he didn't get the ball, he did enough just to put AT off. Cunningham. Going to look for AT. Gets the flick. Ellis will be under it. Gets another flick. These two are linking up like nobody's business at the minute. AT with a strike. Yeah. Oh, it's an Ellis Devro assist and an AT goal. And it's beautiful link up between the two big men. Yeah, they've started absolutely linking up like nobody's business. And I tell you what, the finish from that sort of angle is very decent indeed. But Ellis Devro with the A for assist, as BK would say. You love to see it, Sven. Yeah, his first goal contribution for the first team. He's had many for the reserves this year. Absolutely warrants his opportunity, and he's taken it, I was going to say, with both hands, but it's with his head. So well done, Ellis. Well done, AT, as well. It's almost like those other chances he had today were a little bit too straight on, and he needed that angle on it. A little bit too easy. Yeah, he made a really difficult chance, Sven. That's what it was. Oh, oh, it's great. Yeah. Right. Archie, well done. And now, obviously, we were talking about Ellis and, and Farai a lot today, but Archie, so far, not very good wrong, debut. Imagine a clean sheet in your debut. AT, good flick. Ellis, no lovely use of the ball. Sack, he's got Jermaine on the right. Jermaine's got lots to aim at in the box if he can find a good cross. Cuts back to Sack instead. Sack goes down a little bit. I think Un he was expecting the contact. Yeah, unconvincing, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the contact never came, but he was expecting it. It was a nice link up, and Ellis at the heart of it again. Ball in from Jermaine Anderson. Headed by a Concord player. Nathan Smith on the edge. Tries a little right-footed pass. He stayed up, though. We know he likes to uh, take these areas. He's got a few goals recently. Mish looking for Sack around the corner. Sack gets there. Goes back to Mish. Nathan still in the box, along with Nathan... Sorry, along with AT and uh, Ellis. PK, can you shoot? Does shoot. It's low. Not too much of a problem for the keeper. Yeah, he dealt with it well in the end, didn't he? Corner goes short for Concord. Whipped in low. Flicked on towards the back post. He's free. Oh, it's annoying. Is that an own goal? No, I think it's touched in by the, uh, the no, number nine. Man, was it? Frederick Aguian. It's so free at the back post. 
Yeah, that's a really frustrating goal to concede, especially for Archie's clean sheet. But it was just so easy, wasn't it? Two men in absolutely acres of space headed yeah. across, and it's just simple. He was almost missed, though, to be fair. We've gone to sleep a little bit there. I do feel sorry for Archie because he's not really anything he could do there, and he's not had anything else to do, really, that's threatened the goal, at least. So missed opportunity for a clean sheet. Let's make sure we get the three points. Because we all still want to finish as high as we can this, this uh, season. That's rubbish. It's too easy! Done well there, PK. AT. Oh, if we could hit one there, gets it to Mish. Mish, great turn. Nathan's with you. Nathan's, PK, so, um, Mish is so good on those ones, he looked like the ball's getting away from him. He just used his body. PK trying to dink it in. Was there a potential hand there? PK on the volley, maybe. Mish is probably offside, I thought. AT. Go on, Nathan. Bang it. Oh, that'll do. Oh, what's that? Hand? No? Oh, some sort of body part. Camillo! Off the post again last time he did it. He ended up in the back of the net. This time, not so lucky. Absolute chaos in the box. I, I, I don't even know if I can find the words to describe what I've just seen. But somehow, somehow the ball hasn't ended up in the back of the net. Yeah. Couple good chances in there for the tags. Bit of luck from uh, Concord combined with some good blocks, to be fair. Corner. Misha's going to take it. Out swinger. Nathan! Oh my god, he's everywhere. So close to a third. Absolutely inches. Halsey gets it from the throw in. No, sorry, gives it to Bland on the throw in, gets it back. He's going to cross it here. This is why we need to get another goal, lads. Oh, you're kidding me. Is that him again? Is it the number nine? No, I think another so player? this time, night. No. It's this another one. header, back post, and how they're drawing this game. I know it doesn't mean too much, but I want us to finish as high up the league as we can, and that, that's stinky. I'm absolutely gutted for Archie as well. I don't think he's put a foot wrong all day. And there's two, two chances, two goals. Absolutely gutted for him. Come on, Ashley! Yeah, definitely no clean sheet, that's for sure. How the game is 2 all, I don't know, but it's why we've got to take chances. Kind of the story of our season, you know. We haven't had loads, but we've had enough to get three points today, that's for sure. We might be running out of time now. That's absolute <laughs> dross. Uh, this is what I'm saying, you go back five when you're, you know, you're all over a team and you go back five. I don't like it. Jamiley, though, into the box here. He's got Nathan behind him. Still got it here. Hits the shot! It's a good save, still alive for Samo! Puts it across. Crikey. Get it under, PK. Get it under. Camillo as well. Thinking about a shot. Doesn't quite sit for him. Finds Samo. He crosses. Looking for AT. Oh, I think Mish was expecting AT to connect with it. Cross going to come in and going to go out again, I think. No, it stayed in. They seem to have a lot of free men on these crosses, don't they? Considering we've got a back five. Oh, you're kidding me. That's embarrassing, boys. Because it's not like we haven't got good headers of the ball in there. I know we've shifted things around today. But we've got people in the box that can win their challenges. And three headers now. And how we have lost this game, Eddie. I know it's the end of the season. It's a lot of changes from the tags. I mean, the celebrations from uh, Concord say a lot, considering they're down. They just haven't won a game in a long time. And they're going to yeah. win one today. I, I think the, the main thing from me, from my perspective, is 2-0 up. And losing 3-2 is never good. But when neither team has anything to play for, because let's be honest, these guys are already relegated now. Neither team. We can't use that excuse that we've got nothing you, to play for. The only thing you can is, say is that some of our guys enough. maybe have got their heads on the final, which isn't good enough But either. they should be playing for their they shirt be, well, Maybe they Wednesday. think they've got it already. Maybe there's a little bit of lack of days. I just don't think I've ever seen us be good at back five. I don't think we've ever switched to it and got better. We've always... You're inviting the pressure. I said it when it happened. Yeah. And, you know, it's just... Yeah. In the, the day, if we win on Wednesday, it's all worth it. If we win on Wednesday, all the decisions like to not bring Pedro on and to go with Hasem instead, I think um, we'll be vindicated. But ultimately, we went a bit defensive with the back five and, it, and then the crosses. But the, even with the back five, the crosses should have been dealt with. That's a really disappointing collapse, Ed, isn't it? Yeah, really disappointing. I, I can't really add much more than that, mate, because honestly, it's, it's just disappointing. With a cup final on Wednesday... That's the sort of game that you want to go in with the right mentality, the positive mentality, and set yourselves up. For Isingano, that man came off. The score was 2-0. He's come off. The score's now finished 3-2. It's a sentimental one, but also he was phenomenal when he was on the pitch.
and a, a deserved recipient of today's UFL Player of the Match Award. 100%. It's about context as well. The journey that Fry's been on to come back to this level, play at this level, prove he can still do it at this level. But he will be missed. We absolutely love Fry. And uh, yeah, there is a well-deserved UFL Player of the Match for you. Unfortunately, the rest of the team was not at the races at the back end of that second half. But if we get the result on Wednesday, it is well worth it. Lots of changes today. And let's hope... The result is a different one in a few days' time. You can see what it means for the league table. Real missed opportunity to not really cement an opportunity to finish top 10 in the league this season. But again, we all look to the cup final in a few days now. And if we can get a third trophy to add to the two the women have already won, it will be a hell of a season for Hashtag United. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Head over to the Extra channel to see post-match reaction. You might even hear from our very own Fry Singano in that one as well. And... Don't forget to hashtag it. See you at the cup final.